hello welcome to the channel today we are going to be making um, spicy broccoli so we're going to be I'm going to add some um, olive oil to my pan about a tablespoon tablespoon and a half here I have some chopped garlic Stir the garlic. Mmm, smells delicious. Here I have a bit of ginger. I have some uh, pepper flakes for a little kick. Okay, to this I have some uh, broccoli, about two cups of broccoli. To help the broccoli steam it just a little bit, I have just some water in a squirt bottle. I'm going to add some water to, this is a miso paste, which is a fermented soybean. Very popular in uh, Japanese cooking. When you go to Japanese restaurant and they always give miso soup, this is what they use. It's uh, salty, so I will not need any salt in this recipe. This is a white paste. They also come in a red paste. And because you don't want to lose some of the benefit of uh, ferment, um, eating fermented um, food, so I usually add the pay this um, mixture at the very end of the cooking process because you don't want to kill the enzymes that, will, that are in here that is good for you.
to extend the life of uh, miso paste when I buy it at uh, any Asian uh, grocery, grocer or market is that I would scoop them out and put them in a ice tray and freeze them. I will pop out a cube and um, defrost it in the fridge and I would use that in uh, my cooking. This way I'm not wasting, the product will last longer. I'm going to continue dissolving it because there's a bit of lumps in here. Add a little bit more water. I love using using um, those squeegee bottles in cooking. I sometimes put I put oil in one, soy sauce, and um, water. Okay, this is good. Just gonna add it to the broccoli. Give it a quick stir. If you wanted, you could also um, make some chicken broth or vegetable broth. I tend to make uh, vegetable broth and um, put it in here. And then instead of using water, you could just be using broth to sort of add moisture to the dish. If you tend to like your vest your broccoli a little crunchy, then the recipe is done. I will let it cook a little bit longer. When picking broccoli, you would like the flowerets to be very hard and tight. Um, as you can see, I've, I, mine was in the fridge for a little bit. Um, so you could see there's a bit of yellowing happening here and the flowers are a bit open. That's when I knew that, oh, I have to hurry up and get this cooking. If I know I will not be able to use all the fresh broccoli that I buy, I will then just um, wash it and then put it in the freezer. If this wasn't salty enough, you could also add um, soy sauce or uh, liquid amino. But I'm trying to cut down on my salt a little bit, so I'm sure this is great. So miso paste is a good alternative if you don't want to be just using salt all the time as um, your sole 
seasoning.